Hey guys, welcome back to Meetux Fishing. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use a jig. Alright guys, to start off, the two types of jigs that I use the most are going to be a flipping jig and like a casting jig. They're both basically the same thing. The flipping jig, its head is kind of pointed so it goes through weeds really well. And then the, uh, the football jig is meant for like casting straight out to the middle of a lake or pond and fishing on structure and stuff like that. Another type of jig that I use is a ball head jig. Um, you can basically use them the same way as a football jig. They don't come through weeds really well, so they're meant for casting out and fishing on structure. All right guys, so one more thing we need to talk about before I start fishing is trailers for your jig. So it's one of the most important things that you can have, and there's two types that I use. It's gonna be a beaver type style whenever the claws don't have very much movement, and then the rage tails, my personal favorite. Um, they have a lot of movement and they make the bait really compact. Alright guys, there's two types of ways that I like to put my trailer on my jig. So, the, my favorite way is going to actually be to thread your trailer onto the hook like this. And then push it up like that or you can just put it straight through it like this get all the stuff stuck in it all right you can go like this just put it straight through the side and let it hang down but it's more compact if you thread it on but you can still throw it like this straighten that out there you go and I forgot to tell you guys, if you guys aren't that confident throwing a jig, I'd recommend starting out small and then working your way up to a bigger jig. So the Striking Bitsy Bug is a great jig to start out throwing just because it's super small and it'll bring your confidence level up when throwing a jig. Alright guys, so right over here in the lake we have a group of schooling bass because it's summertime and they're schooling up on the smaller fish. So I'm going to try to catch one. Alright guys, so here's how you're going to want to fish your jig. So, this is this is a flipping and casting jig. So I'm going to cast it out for you this time. So you cast it out and you let it sink to the bottom. Alright, once your jig hits the bottom, you're just going to want to lift your rod tip like this and reel the slack in. You're going to do that the whole way back to shore or the whole way back to your boat. Okay, here's how you flip a jig. So you're gonna have like this much line out. You're gonna point your rod tip like this with your bait in your hand. You're kinda just gonna fling it, move your rod tip up, and your bait will go out, like so. Hopefully you catch a giant bass. Okay, here it is again. Just like that. And if you want to get a little fancy, well, it's not really that fancy, it's kind of like lazy, but what I do, if you just get the momentum of reeling in your cast, you can get your jig to fly back and just zing it back out like that. Okay, I'll do it again. So you get the momentum of it reeling in, flings back, and just send it. Guys, one thing I forgot to mention was the color of your jig. I like to use green pumpkins, browns, cover, colors like that in clear water and in black and blues and like blacks and dirty water. There you go. There we go boys. On the jig.
Here we go, man. Football jig. Schooled. This bath was schooled. And I just chucked the football jig out there and just started swimming it back to me just by real my thing and just giving it like constant jigs like this. Got her. Guys, I'm gonna have to thank you for watching this video. If you have any more questions about jig fishing, like if you wanna know what line I'm using, like I use either, like this is 17 pound test, but you could use 30 pound braid with like a 15, 17 pound liter of fluorocarbon on. Yeah, if you have any questions about line or the rod that I use or anything like that, just comment down below. And thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys later.